Nearly a year after the United States kicked off its COVID-19 vaccine rollout, rising death tolls, hospitalizations, and mask mandates are taking over the country yet again. Over 200 million Americans, more than 60 percent of the population, have been fully vaccinated, according to government data. Yet as winter approaches and more contagious variants spread, the country's COVID-19 death toll has reached 800,000, according to a Reuters tally. Oh yeah, my daughter was just in here last week from COVID, and, uh, <coughs> and it, she lost her baby on it, so it's, I say that the COVID not gets the young and the old, but it kills the unborn too. Larry Goff is a COVID-19 patient at San Juan Regional Medical Center, one of New Mexico's hardest hit hospitals. Medical staff are struggling to cope with the surge in COVID-19 patients and deaths, 94% of which remained unvaccinated. Yet that hasn't changed some people's minds about the vaccines. Cheryl Sanders' husband, Vincent, is currently being treated for a lung infection brought on by the virus. No, I still, pro I still would not be vaccinated. He probably would still choose not to be vaccinated. I don't think we'd be here today had, the, had they checked for the infection. I mean, yes, he has the COVID, you know, and that's, that's where it started. But if they had known he had the infection at last Saturday, they should have never dismissed him from the hospital. As with other states with high vaccination rates earlier on in the pandemic, COVID-19 immunity has waned in New Mexico, pushing it toward the top of the rankings for new cases.